Tim, I can't think of a more appropriate prelude. How great thou art. We have been through a week here in Katy and in our nation. We came through a Cat 1 hurricane and we were without power. And at my house, we'll be picking up branches till next Christmas. But we made it. The building is here and we are okay. And then yesterday, someone tried to assassinate former President Donald Trump. And I don't care what your political loyalties are, that is a tragedy. And we need to keep this country, Donald Trump's family, the family of everyone involved yesterday. We need to be a church in prayer for our nation and for healing from hurricanes and from shootings. I know that um, you will want to know. Okay. Apparently, Barry had a birthday. And Kathy wants us to know about it. So. Happy birthday, Barry. Happy birthday, Barry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barry. Happy birthday to you. And many more. It's good to have something to celebrate. I talked to Reverend Kim before church this morning and we were comparing notes and I said when we move we want the Korean church to come with us and well we don't have a place to worship but we're worshiping at my home and he smiled and he said while we don't have a place to worship we will be worshiping in my home so it's good to know they have a place to worship Reverend Kim has invited us to a luncheon on the last Sunday in July he wants us to have fellowship together as a group before we go our separate ways for a little while. And he said, we will provide Korean food. So that will be the last Sunday in July. And Terry has an announcement. As you all know, one of our biggest uh, missions in the church has been the blood drives. And I schedule them 16, 16 weeks apart because that allows the people who give double red cells to give it every blood drive. So our next blood drive is set up for August 18th, which is two weeks after we move. And we talked to the other church to see if we could possibly use the room on that Sunday. And they said no, because they're gonna be immediately coming in and tearing stuff out. So I got a hold of the blood center and told them that I regretted it, but we'd have to cancel the drive. And they asked us to please not cancel, that during the summer they are desperate for blood. And so she said, what's your last Sunday? And I said, the fourth. So she said, well, could we do it on the fourth? And I said, that won't work because we're having a luncheon and that'll use the room that we need. So she said, I can get a coach out that day. So we have a blood drive set up for the last Sunday we're here, and all the people that gave double cells last time will not be eligible to give. That's half the donors. So I need all the people that give the whole blood to please donate, and I'll be reaching out to all the other people. They are desperate at this time of year because the drives are harder to put in, people are out of town, there are more car accidents due to summer traffic, and the need for blood at the cancer centers and that continues on at the same pace. So if you can give, or if you have a neighbor that you talk to that can give, please get a hold of me. I wanna get at least 10 people. Uh, they'd like more, but we normally get about 15, 15 to 17 units, and we'll be lucky if we can get about eight right now with just our normal donors. So please think about it. August 4th, the last Sunday we're here. Okay. July 7th is already passed. Right. Did it? I'm a month. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great day. Are there any other announcements that need to be made this morning? Yes, sir. Could I ask Jerry to turn up the volume just a little bit on your mic? It's up all the way. He says it's up all the way. There we go. Okay. All right. 
Um, let us then turn our hearts and our minds to the worship of Almighty God. Ruler of all worlds, whose glory surrounds our unseeing eyes, our muffled hearing, and our dulled emotions, come to awaken us to the mystery of your will. Speak to us a word of truth <clears throat> that reveals our deceit and leads us away from falsehood. Touch us with healing grace that allows us to admit our woundedness and accept the comfort you offer. Let your spirit move among us so that we may recognize your presence in one another and in our own lives. May our response to you be faithful and our praise genuine. Amen. Amen. Those who are able, please rise for the call to worship. Christ has accomplished all things. God has accomplished all things through Christ. God's own children. Let us give thanks to God. And live for the praise of God's glory. Jesus loves us with steadfast tenderness. Therefore, let us confess our sins to God through the corporate prayer of confession. Holy God, you call us to be the beloved children and to care for one another, yet we fail to love others as ourselves. 
ourselves. Help us to be ashamed and to turn our hearts to you. Forgive us and then tenderly teach us to stand strong and courageous in the fullness of your love. By the grace and mercy of Christ. Amen. Sisters and brothers, God forgives us and strengthens us for love. Therefore, be at peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God has forgiven us in Christ, let us forgive one another. As we seek to be a community built upon God's shalom, let us greet each other with the peace of Christ be with you. And the response is, and also with you. Let us pray. Loving God, your word brings peace to all who turn to you. Send your Holy Spirit to dwell among us that we might praise God's Christ's glory. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> First scripture reading today is from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 through 5, and then 12b through 19, and then after that, the 24th Psalm. David again brought together all the able young men of Israel, 30,000. He and all his men went to Baal in Judah to bring up there the Ark of God, which is called by the name, the name of the Lord on 
Haydn, who was enthroned between the cherubim on the ark. They set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it to the house of Abinadab, who was, which was on the hill. Uzzah and Ahio, sons of Abinadab, were guiding the new cart with the ark of God on it, and Ahio was walking in front of it. David and all Israel were celebrating with all their might before the Lord with castanets, harps, lyres, timbrels, cisterns, and cymbals. Now King David was told, the Lord has blessed the house of, of Obedidim and everything he has because of the ark of God. So David went to bring the ark, bring up the ark of God from the house of Obedidim to the city of David with rejoicing. When those who were carrying the ark of the Lord had taken six steps, he sacrificed a bull and a fatted calf. Wearing a linen ephod, David was dancing before the Lord with all of his might while he and all Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sound of trumpets. As the ark of the Lord was entering the city of David, Mishal, daughter of Saul, watching from, was watching from a window. And when she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she despised him in her heart. They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David sacrificed burnt offerings and all and fellowship offerings before the Lord. After he had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each person in the whole crowd of Israelites, both men and women. And all the people went to their homes. And then the 24th Psalm. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it for he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters who may ascend the mountain of the lord who may stand in his holy place the one who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god they will receive blessing from the lord and vindication from god their savior such is the generation of those who seek him who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi, Terry. <laughs> so um, this hymn is pretty appropriate for this current situation in this world the last week, at least here in Houston. Um, it was written in 1841. It's a very simple hymn. That's the reason I chose it. Um, <clears throat> and it was the song that is ostensibly was played on the deck of the Titanic as it sank. It was also sung by the crew and passengers of the Valencia as it sank. So it is a, a hymn of comfort. If I can remember how to get this to Whoops. Ah. Wait a minute. Bless you. Try again. Yeah. 
Thank you, Juan, for that and for the historical background.